a spoiler, I found a problem. The car has a spoiler. That's a problem. Yeah. So we. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this spoiler, the Z51 spoiler. So that's gotta come off, and then the body shop's gonna have to fill two, four, six, eight holes on the back. What's this? Yeah, I did. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, so let's start with the spoiler. So, Serge, we've got here, this is the bottom mounting plate. You've got the side spats, which look awesome, by the way. And you can get these at Surge in a Y or an X. And these are obviously the Y. Oh, nice. The X goes like that, just in case you're wondering. Okay. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here for them. Nice. Window banner. Oh, look! Can we keep that? That's all my keys. Yeah, do it! So step one, Surge, we have to get this off. And that's more of a job than installing the new spoiler. I think it is. Yeah, I think so. The whole bumper is going to come off, I believe. Well, yeah, it, it's just like kind of like this C7. We did the chassis mount on a few years ago. So just a few bolts. A few bolts. Yeah. I told you, real quick. So yeah, real quick. Yeah. yeah, real quick for these guys here. Yeah, yeah real quick. <laughs> yeah. Real quick, three minute video. Yeah. But yeah, let's do it. It's only got 700K. It'll come apart nice. Yeah, it'll just <clears> fall apart. Yeah, or showed up for it. Oh, oh man. You can see the front tires from the rear. Yeah. It's almost not quite Lambo tire, but pretty good. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah, these are 325, the Lambo was 365. The Aventador, not the Huracan. Yeah, it's tires, that'll be cool. Hey. Nice. Yeah, what we got here is the spoiler mounting plate, I guess you call it, Serge, what do you think? Yeah, this would be a mounting bracket. And it pretty much centers itself, but to be sure, we found the center of this, marked it in the center of this, and it was what, with a sixteenth of an inch? You could move it either way, not very much. So there. So you could have put it like that. Yeah, I guess you could have like put it like this. Yeah. So set so the center, mark the holes. So we'll put the nuts that came in the package in here, and then punch through this beautiful hypersonic gray paint. So they'll miss that. Yeah. <laughs> Me drilling through a. Oh no, they're not gonna miss it. It's happening. <laughs> okay. Before you go punch a hole in this, you put a blanket down. You know what I did? I put tape on this side for when you're sliding shit all over the place. See that? Good job, Steve. Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Hole in a near brand new car. Let's do it. Oh boy. Modules easy. How are you feeling about that? Why that's is Derek nice laughing? Hole. That's a nice hole. <laughs> that's a nice hole. That's a nice hole. That's what she said. <laughs> You know what the DHL guy just dropped off? What's yes. that? You know what this is? I don't. It's a box. It's a Corvette lowering kit. Oh wait. Yeah. You just uh, <laughs> so the rear is on coil, so you just spin them down, and in the front these are just uh, like spacers you put in there. Oh. Right from GM. I think they were 170 dollars. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's crazy. To lower a Corvette. To lower a car. Yeah, man. There it is, Sergis. Um, sir. Well, let's take one off. We're gonna take the spoiler off. This one. No, no, not that one. That one has to come off, which means the bumper has to come off. Which means the body shop then has to paint the bumper. Yeah. yeah. How are you feeling about this, G? <laughs> he's, he's more nervous. Yeah. He's staying across the shop, so Look he doesn't at have to watch. Pro Tuning sent me uh, carbon side skirts for my R6. I like that. What a bunch of beauties over there. All right. So what can you say for the front? Well, we have enough time. We could probably put this chin on yet today. Look at that, Steve. You look at it from here. Oh man. Oh, Does that not say race car? That does. Yeah. Okay, let's put something else on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Small hiccups on the front chin here. We'll come back to that. What are you doing back here? We got some double sided tape on here, which is, you know. So we're putting the, the other ones on there, these ones, and they actually extend a little bit. They're super cool. We gotta get them painted in carbon splash, but pretty, uh, pretty rad. I was just explaining to the guys watching. So, so that's the one you just got off, and you can see how low it goes. And then there's this one. We haven't actually test fitted this on, so. You can see it goes, watch your arm, substantially lower down there. It makes it much wider. 
That looks cool. And actually it's flush now with this, whereas before it kind of was countersunk in. Cool. This to me was just a game changer. It's kind of like the C8Z, but not. The C8Z has this type of thing, but comes across. So it's similar, but not. I guess it's similar in the way that it just extends it. Got some tape on there to protect her. Sir, did you get the rear bumper off, buddy? Yeah. Nice, nice. Get this spoiler off here. Cruising along. Serge, for the viewers wondering how new this car is, let's show them what it looks like behind the tire. After driving in the rain today, I want to show them how clean it is in there. You ready? Yep. <laughs> Everything is brand new because it only has 700 kilometers or like 300 miles on it. I think you need some brake pads. No, no, it doesn't need brake pads. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. What's funny though is my RS6 brakes are about four times that size. We keep saying your. This is not your car. I've never once. You keep saying it's my car. Jeez, you know I want the car. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't we all? Bumper is off, and uh, while we're here, we'll just unplug the exhaust so it's loud all the time. Just put four bolts. Four bolts. Yeah. Four bolts. All this work. Yeah. It's all we're doing is taking the rear spoiler off. Is that yeah. 51 one, spoiler? Two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. Four ten mils. Four ten mils. And then the body shop's got to fill them. Oh. Cool. Yeah, literally ran for hardware. He's already got this fender on and cut. Looks like he's doing something with the sides, carbon side skirts here. This one's not done. Ah, I'm like an hour late. I went to get hardware for all this and you're already trimming. I was trimming without started me. cutting and drilling. Yeah. You got the bumper on? Oh yeah. Yeah, we just need to, we'll have to fill these, get the body shop to fill those. But uh, that looks good. I saw you were playing with something over here. So this looks good, you got this on, you got it all trimmed already? Yeah. That's wide, hey? I guess that's why they call it a wide body. Oh yeah, there you go. So you took off what, like? An inch, an inch and a bit? half, inch and a, yeah, a little inch and a bit. Yeah, inch and a bit. For those wondering why we need to do that, the new wheel's four inches wider than the OE one, so we need to trim up here to get it in there. What's going on here though? This doesn't look like it's gonna fit. Yeah, so I don't know if this body kit works with this side skirt, so we're gonna trim it up and make it fit. You're gonna trim the skirt, so we should trim the, carbon or what yeah because if you trim the carbon then it'll sit over it right yeah we'll make it look pretty okay let's do that man i like it start cutting and drilling and i got your hardware because anybody that buys this kit does not come with hardware so i think we get some hardware for them this morning we got 72 nuts 72 knots. 73 actually 73 knots. yeah there we go cool man all right so just we got the tape off here now i just want to show the guys though the amount of you can't really see in there though what's going on under here and then these coilovers we're gonna have to dial for uh to lower it hey yeah yeah so we'll have to bring it down an inch or two yeah, so it's kind of interesting you got your cool a radiator right here yeah and your fan there would be one on each side is ecu or bcu here oh <laughs> they haven't secured anything good job gm and yeah. then there's some ecu down there yeah that's definitely an ecu yeah it's very cool hey a lot of stuff behind here yeah okay let's keep going Sergis. all right left rear side is out just a bit of everything another BCM, ECU of some sort, more big connectors that go to maybe like a BCM, ECM type of thing, but uh, interesting. Yeah, anyway. Hey Serge, what do you think of my tape job here, buddy? Your tape job is just wonderful. Well, it holds it up, right? Yeah. So anyway, so now we need to mark out where the holes are. Now, anybody putting one of these kits on, keep in mind, it doesn't line up quite right. I mean, it's fiberglass. So you got to start drilling. And then as you come around, you need to compress it so that it actually lines up. But I got to muscle it in yeah. there. They did tell me this kit fits a 2021 and this car is a 22, so it could be off a little bit. But yeah, for anyone wondering, you have to compress it. So what you, you get over here, yeah, over here. So we had to compress it about two inches, but you can see now how it lines up, right? With the shape. So you stand back here, it lines up with the shape. They've actually got the body lines molded in here is really nice. Both sides, so it looks good. So, I mean, if you wanted to get crazy, you could probably mold this in there. I saw Kurt Miller Civic the other day like that, but no need for that. Okay, so the back is done. This thing looks like Kim Kardashian. Look at this. Oh, you know, the camera doesn't even do justice, but look at that. Yeah, I'm going to call it Kim. I'm going to name Okay. So. Tape job done. You like that? Now we yeah, so start putting on the... There's that piece that goes here, and it comes up to here, and then it's got a tab. And then we got the other piece, kind of does the zigzag with the carbon over here. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't do a tab on the back. It is there's weird. a bumper too. Yeah, but and they then did it up, here. up here, like I don't know if you have to trim as much. There's only probably like that 
there's not as near as much there. No. No. But there's not much room there. Come on, you're not running a 375 on the back. There's of no it. engine in the front, so we're fine. Fair, that's good. Good call, Serge. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work. Let's start chopping. Chopping. Serge. This hole is uncomforting close to my headlight. Yeah, because this goes right here. That goes right there? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Looks good. You know, if you're not a car guy, you're not going to respect. Like, people don't like the way it overlaps, kind of like a fender flare on a Silverado, you know? Or F-150. Yeah. Yeah, you got to be a car guy to respect it. But it's going to be the same color, so it'll fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, if you want to get crazy, like, Kurt Civic, this is all filled in. I'm just, I'm not that OCD, that's all. But it should look like uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. All right, we'll just get the front one on, bud. Well, Serge, we've hit a hiccup. Heck heck and I knew we were going to on the front, because it's two pieces. Yeah, it's a little tough. So for the viewers, if you're installing your kit and you're not sure what to do, again, this car's a 22, and the kit's designed for 2021. But what we've got is when we put this piece where it's supposed to be, we end up with exposed body here, um, and we can't trim it. We could trim about a half an inch, but the inner fender liner bolts there. So, you know, Serge, looking in the camera, if that's the same color, I don't think you're gonna notice it, man. But we got this piece on, Ideally, like they want you to move it further back, but then it, you risk the door hitting it. But even more so, it leaves an ugly gap around the headlights. So we actually moved it forward just to just to see him. What do you think? We'll keep shimming it and see what we can come up with. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do that. Just like that, it's on. I think it looks delicious. And if you're, again, if you're not a car guy, you probably don't like that it overlaps like that. But that's. The world we live in of wide body. I dig the carbon accent. And actually, this is seamless. I'm not sure how they do that. Completely seamless. Serge, what are you doing there, bud? You doing the other side? Yeah. Nice. You like? I put this tape on there for you. It's beautiful. You're welcome. Thanks, Steve. Great. Uh, just so you guys know, when you go to do this, one of these bolts is right there. And we're questioning if you might have to take out the rod to get to it because it's kind of right above it. And then like, it's fiberglass, so this stuff doesn't line up amazing. So a little body work, I mean, no problem. Otherwise, really happy. It's gorgeous. Can't wait to get the side skirt on. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna trim around here to the side skirt. So it'll kind of be kind of overlapping like that with the carbon sticking out down here. Oh yeah. It's amazing, Serge, this rad already has like little nicks and stuff in both of them. The car has like 700 kilometers on it. See what I'm saying? Oh, wow. So it's like a new car. But, uh... You got the direct flow yeah. plugs and stuff. Oh yeah, man, it's all dirty. Anyway, yeah, we got this on there now. This, this bolt in the corner, Street Hunter, you guys gotta do a better job because it's behind the rad. So either you gotta take the bumper off to put one bolt in, like you could easily put it right in the center here and then come through. That would be the money shot right there. But what do you think of Serge? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. For I mean, a body kit, uh, like a, for a wide body I mean, kit, I have other things good. I would suggest, like the way you don't see it in the camera, but this sticks out here. This is the original body. And it, so you have this is in, carbon out, this more out. It's like tapered, you know? Yeah. I think it should all match. Line up. Yeah. But it only goes one way because it wraps around the headlight and the door. So yeah. Anyway. Cruising along? Yeah. Yeah. It's coming along. So I guess we'll get that nightmare bolt in. We should get some wheels on this. We gotta get it for paint soon. Oh, we gotta do side skirts, Serge. Side skirts. Side skirts. Side skirts, yeah. Those will be fun too. We gotta trim yeah. those. Yeah, this is a work of art. So I bought the side skirts, not knowing these aren't for the wide body. The wide body, because the side skirts go from there to there. So it'll look cool when we're done. We have to trim around here and essentially the side skirts can be poking through it. Similar to that, like I explained before. Up front, we're not sure what we're doing yet, but uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right, boys, that well, seems to be the problem. I'm just kidding, the problem. So this, like I said before, this side skirt's not made for a wide body car. So, I mean, it fits beautifully. It was tight to get on there. Tight. It was tight. Tight to get on there. Hold on, my phone's ringing. That's how it's gonna go. And Serge, come on, man. Perfect. I don't need a hammer. It's so tight, you don't even need screws on there. Yeah, you need a hammer. So uh, anyway. We'll cut a V taper in this, and away we go.
So we got that one on. It's looking pretty good. So now we have the same problem over here. So that's how the side skirt looks. And to give you an idea of what the car looks like without the side skirt, it's like almost a must, right? Look at that. So it's like the car looks so different with the side skirt. Did you compare it to the other side? It does. It's, it's crazy. way different. And yeah. I like how that uh, trim out went on the back. Yeah, it looks really good. Um, I don't know if you noticed. We have to do the same on the front now. Yeah, At so. least it's a straight line. This will be easy. I think I think what we'll do, I thought about, well, you talked about cutting the carbon fiber, but I don't like the white line and the carbon looks better. So I think if we cut this flush, there's a bolt right here and it should, it should hold it on. Yeah, and you know what? In all fairness, that's what it would look like if you didn't have the wide body because it would just, it'd be the whole thing running and the fender's flat right there anyway, right? Yeah. Flat right there anyway. So, yeah, I think Perfect. so. Okay, let's do that. Looks good. That looks good. Yeah. That looks sick, yeah. And it's one of one. Nobody's done that before. I did it. Yeah, I, this is the first car with their side skirts. So, that's good. That's exciting. Made it work. Made it work. That's what you do. All right, ready for another day, day tomorrow? Day three? Boom. Boom, day three. All right, guys, this is quite literally my first time seeing the car completely assembled. I was actually in a meeting all morning. Serge finished her up. It's outside. I'm kind of pumped, a little bit nervous. Let's check it out. Oh my word. <laughs> Look at how far the tire's sticking. Love those carbon side skirts. It's pretty windy. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. That's awesome. Carbon just pops. Super dirty, of course. We've been working on it for a while. Yeah, that looks wicked good. Wicked good. It's got a little bit of body work to finish up there, but you know, no fault of uh, Street Hunter. This is just standard working with fiberglass. You know, nothing's perfect, right? Expect to do some work. Anyway, guys, that said, make sure you stay tuned for the second video. Um, it'll come out shortly after this, where we get it painted off the decals, and we'll see you then. Thank you.